talk Hi about it. everyone, it's Agnes and welcome to a interview today. It's with Kwana. Hello, Kwana. Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi everybody. Kwana's in her special office today. My car, yeah. <laughs> We've done many car oh. interviews. <laughs> this is my first one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Kwana. And interestingly, I, I work from my car, so I work okay. a lot. You know, I work. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I can tell you that about that. Well, I work for Lyft, which is like a version of Uber. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, that's great. So, yeah, you literally are in your office then. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> I'm tired of it, so I'm creating yeah. another reality. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Another area to shift out of. Um, before we start, exactly. can you say where you are and a bit of your cultural background? I think people like to know where you're from, where you are, what continent you were born on, whatever you want to tell us, go ahead. Absolutely. I live in Denver, Colorado, USA. Denver is located in the Rocky Mountain region of the United States. Denver is also known as the Mile High City. Yeah, I've lived in Denver. I've lived in Denver since 1985. I moved here when I was 19. Yeah, uh, my father was living here at the time. Um, I was born in near the Seattle, Washington area, and grew up there till I was about 18 with my family of origin. And before that, I was actually born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Ah. And, uh, so <laughs> You were born where Ho'oponopono originated. I was born where Ho'oponopono originated. <laughs> and the reason for all that moving around was because my family was in the military. Yeah. My father was in Air Force, in the Air Force. So there was a lot of, that's why there was moving around. And uh, so, and uh, I am half African American. My father, both my parents have passed on. Yeah, uh, but my father, my father was African American, and my mother was Caucasian, okay. and they got together. They got together in the fifties, and in the in the America, United States at that time, uh, there was it was not a good time for yeah. a black man and a white woman to be together. Yeah. So my parents went through a lot because of that. Yeah. But anyway, so wow, got three older three older sisters, and um, so I ended up in Denver because of my father and getting living near him as a young adult woman and I've been here ever since. <laughs> mm. Nice and just as a side salad did you learn about Ho'oponopono when you were in Hawaii? No I was only there till I was two years <laughs> I was only two <laughs> but um I did I did learn a lot about Hawaiian Hawaii is how it's pronounced but I learned a lot about how Hawaiian culture from my family yeah. because they fell in love with with Hawaii and I, it's a beautiful culture and a beautiful place so I did learn a lot about uh, uh, that culture but the Honoponopono no actually I learned about Honoponopono through a, a yoga instructor friend of mine a few years ago yeah. she's into a lot of spiritual stuff you know, type work, and she, some of her classes, she would recite the, I'm sorry, I love you, please forgive me, and uh, she did, she, I remember her referencing that, so I actually heard it, when I heard it on your channel the first time, I thought, oh my god, I know, I know what that is, wow. but I didn't know the full, I didn't know the full history, but I, and I remember her talking about, what's his name, Dr. Hugh Lynn? You were, yes, he bought his experience in the psych ward and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, well, there you yeah. go. There you go. So you're going to share with us your wonderful success story. I'm sure <laughs> the viewers are going to enjoy this one because I did when I read it. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. And I, 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 like I said, I didn't put all the details in every detail in because I didn't want to make the email too long. I'm sure you get yeah. a lot of long ver verbose emails and I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I wanted to make it as concise as possible, but I am, you know, able to share some more things now to kind of round to fill out the picture a little more. So yeah. yeah, go for it. You start wherever you want to start Quana. If you want to give a bit of a background okay. and then what you did wrong and what you did 
then correct it. You know, you do it however you want to share it. Okay. Well, like I, I had emailed Agnes, I have been a 20 year spiritual seeker on the conscious path of, 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 you know, personal growth and spirituality. So like Agnes, I'm familiar with some of the older teachers like Louise Hay, Wayne Dyer. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen any of Wayne Dyer's specials he had on our public PBS specials. Yeah. Love him. Yeah. And Marianne Williamson and other teachers. Uh, but I didn't run into law of attraction work until late 2014. Well, no, that's not true. I back up. The, C the secret came out. Mm. And then law of attraction, specifically uh, Abraham Hicks in late 2014. So I met my, my person, my, my guy, yeah. <laughs> uh, his name is Michael. I met him in 2014. And so I am, I'm a, you know, I'm 51 and I'm yep. not afraid to say my Woo! age at all. <laughs> 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 and, um, so I've been, I've been, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I've been married and I've ha I'm not married anymore. I don't have any children. Yeah. Uh, and I have, I've had a number of relationships. Okay. I've dated, I've, I kind of done it all in a way. I've had a lot of <laughs> experiences in the area of romance. And so by the time I met Michael, I had not only had a lot of relationship stuff going on, but had been continually working on myself from a spiritual perspective. Yeah. But I did notice patterns for sure going on in my relationships with men. So when I, uh, when I met Michael, we were, it was literally one of those, you know, they say, when you're not looking, that's <laughs> when you look somebody. And I used to hear that and go, whatever. <laughs> but it was really true in this case. It was, it was actually, uh, two weeks ago was our, uh, a week ago was the four years since I had met him over our Memorial Day holiday. Yeah. And I was out actually seeing another, because I'm a musician, but I was out seeing another musician friend of mine, and Michael was working there at the uh, venue, the bar, or whatever. And uh, I, anyway, we met. I felt somebody staring at me, and I saw this gorgeous six foot two African American man with dreads staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it all began. And um, I, I knew, <laughs> I could feel in his energy, I knew when I looked at him that he was going to be a challenge in the way that it was going to bring up whatever I had going on inside of me that wasn't healed. I just knew it. Yeah. I knew it. I could feel it. So we started, <laughs> we started um, dating and he was very gentlemanly and, uh, I, oh, well, he, when we met, he told me he was a musician, and prior to that, I had wanted to partner with the musician because I, I was kind of a late bloomer professionally in terms of getting involved with the music scene. Yeah. It took me years and years to develop that craft, and um, so I realized that I did want to have that kind of a collaboration, so I, that was... <laughs> you know how your yeah, uh, law of attraction or whatever will will bring to you things you're a match with <clears throat> but at that time my my uh, understanding of a law of attraction was uh, just really beginning okay so but I could sense you know I had a sense of things at any rate we um started seeing each other and I wanted, I knew that I had enough awareness to know that I wanted to do things differently in terms of waiting for intimacy and uh, trying to get to know this person. And he was very agreeable to that. And so <laughs> I immediately knew that there were things that I could see were that I wanted to um, experience with the man, and there were things about him that I didn't want to experience. Uh, but the attraction was definitely there, 
And I knew that he had a really, really good heart, really good heart. And over the next few months, we started to talk about music and we started to play a little bit and practice together. And I realized how incredibly talented he was. Kwana, 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 Kwana. Come back. <laughs>